Today, I want to talk about cheap helmets. Hello and welcome to Kickstand Up. And today, I want to talk about this cheap helmet that I bought about four months ago. Okay, so this helmet is 99 ringgit. I will link the <clears throat> I'll link it down below at the description. So the reason why I bought this helmet is because I fetch my girlfriend around during the weekends. So I need a second helmet and then I find the cheapest one I can get and it looks quite nice one. Because I'm broke. And also I will be comparing it to my full face helmet, the HJC CS15 that I have owned about a year now, more than a year now uh, which is also not an expensive helmet it's an entry level full face helmet so I think it's quite relevant maybe not Okay, so let's start with the comfort the comfort is an issue already maybe it's because it doesn't suit the shape of my face so when this CS15 HJC, when I wear it, it's like a very tight fit. Everything is just there. Like you can actually see the padding on both. So it makes a huge difference now when it comes to comfort. This is not as comfortable as that. It's way more uncomfortable because there are pressure points going to my cheek so it felt like this and then the rest of my head is quite free maybe I get the size wrong and maybe my head is not suitable the shape, I mean the shape of my head is not suitable for this helmet so comfort is one thing the things that I like about this helmet it's really nice I like the design of it so and it's not hot there's a lot of room to breathe here maybe it's a motocross helmet thing I wouldn't get like hot hot unlike this helmet the HGC full face helmet it's quite hot sometimes if you you are not riding and then you breathe and then you feel you feel the, your face is like hot uh, it's also very light maybe because of the cheap plastic and yeah I like this thing that blocks the sun it's like a wearing cap so okay so to the cons, things that I don't like about this helmet. Okay, the first thing is the comfort. As I said earlier, it's not the best. It's not the most comfortable helmet because the padding is so thin. And I'm not sure if I can take this. Oh yeah, I can. I can take this out. I can take the padding out. Yeah, I haven't washed it yet. Okay, goggles. This goggle is a huge problem for me because this part here it is all rubberized so the first thing that the first problem that occurs was me wearing glasses so i it couldn't fit my glasses properly i have to cut i have to cut a bit over here you can see i have to cut both sides too in order for my glasses to fit yeah and then the second thing that i found is it's not sealed tightly at all the bottom part so as I ride, the wind will just blow right to my eye and I couldn't really see. So one week of using these goggles together with this helmet, I got another goggle. Which is this one. Uh, that I am okay with it, I like it because it's foam. It has sponge on it. Not foam, sponge. So it actually seal up quite well. So I don't get wind to my blow to my eyes anymore and it looks quite nice as well. So this is the way to go. If you want to get this helmet, just buy another goggle because the goggle sucks. Okay. And the thing that I don't like is the finishing. I mean what can I complain, right? But um, the underside of this shape, the cap I think, I think that's what it calls. The cap is not painted yeah it's not painted so 
after this video I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna paint it myself I think that is pretty much about the things I wanna talk about so oh yeah one more the build quality it's oops my bone just cracked see it it is it is not it is not the best quality ever I mean I can't complain much right it's only a hundred and you can compare it to my this I can barely move them even though this is like an entry level one it's still a cheap one not I wouldn't say a cheap one a affordable but still a branded one I couldn't really press it squeeze it just barely so yeah the view quality on this is also a problem fake vents fake vents fake air vents and fake air vents there's no real air vents over here yeah the locking the buckle this is a pain in the ass at first lah because when you lock it if it's tight you cannot really take it off you have to bend it you have to bend it then you can take it off see if i pull it straight it's tight it's not coming off it's coming off when i bend it this way only it can come off uh, it's a bit small so sometimes you can't really get it in but after like one or two weeks three weeks and I got used to it and I just like zoop no problem the straps feels cheap also but what can I say right it's cheap it's cheap helmet well if you want to get this helmet um, I would say I wouldn't say get this helmet lah. I would say get cheap helmet to ride around if you are just commuting short distance I think it's fine other than that I think it's okay it's not bad and yeah just remember to get another goggles because the goggles sucks would I recommend this at this price point? Hmm. yeah yeah if you're not riding fast if you're just riding around nearby go and take away food uh, I think it's okay one. It's cheap. It looks nice. People thought that you have a really nice, <laughs> expensive helmet, but uh, I would say, yeah, sure, why not? So I think that's pretty much about this helmet that I want to talk about. Thank you all for watching. Ciao. See you again.